So our ADC player tells our jungle not to jungle Darius, which I'm thinking, you know, that's the dumbest thing ever. If he wants to first pick Darius jungle, I'm all for it. They're going to counter him thinking it's Darius top, and then I get the super counter on their counter pick. At this point, I'm thinking, okay, this guy's an idiot. Just flame him so he'll dodge. I'm telling the jungler just to grief the game because the ADC banned his champ. Basically, in some kind of weird way, I'm letting the team know, like, you know, I'm so good, and I'm not going to dodge because I don't care about one loss, which is ironic because my name's actually Dodge simulator and my plan was to dodge games that looked like trash essentially. I did severely underestimate this fiddle player's ability to not care about his account and he's gonna feed not one, not two, but three kills to Yorick before he finally feels like he's got his point across I guess. And so in a little bit here the Yorick's about to be 3-0 and this Yorick's actually good. He's won 76% of his recent Yorick games. He's got this pretty gnarly strategy where he rushes Sorelia's grudge so I pretty much cannot move. I definitely got my work cut out for me now as we're going to try to win a 4v5 with Fiddle pretty much hard committing to ruining this game. I think he died like 20 times by the end of the game. No. Oh. Dang it. Oh, we need that kill. Nice. That was huge. You guys got no ghost. Got nothing. Get him and then he just used Maiden too. But they still got him. Nice, and then Maiden's down. That's huge. EPs, I think we just back off, yeah? We got the two platings. I'm back in. Oh yeah. I'm freaking huge. Not sure this is worth, to be honest, if I uh, end up dying here. Oh, they even have to... Oh, I don't even have to ghost after him. I'll start ghosting now, and I don't think he'll know if I can catch up. Yeah, he doesn't know. Nice, I got the wither off. That's huge. Oh, let me stack him. Well, Glenn's huge. Not terrible, because drags up in 24. Nice, I got the wither off. That's huge. Yes, we get the drag. The work gets top, so it was kind of like we had to commit there. It was really good Morgana, didn't know I was there, and just kind of face checked. The healing reduction is pretty brutal, I will say. It's the healing from my Q by a lot. Or, it's just temporary, I guess. That is really being too aggressive. Where is he? It's freaking cage, man. There's no way I lose this, right? Looking back on that exchange, all I should have done is just ulted way early, and that would have been fine. I just don't know if I would have killed him is the only thing, but just don't be greedy with the ult. Because I could have spammed Qs and life sealed way more. And you get armor and MR with your ult now. I don't even know that. Uh, maybe. Got him. The Gwen's really fed. Uh... Wow, that's brutal. Oh, I don't know what we do here. Like, we got three top, and the, the enemy's gonna get dragged here. I feel like Gwen's so strong, though. Me and her might be able to beast this. I just need to not get CC'd by everything. Oh, I'm taking so much freaking. Uh... Oh, jeez. Yeah, that was really good. We literally had three tops just now holding that guy, and it was me and Gwen 2v4. I don't know if she's got the victor. I think she does. I'm just going to TP out. He should. This freaking cage, man. I'm a dog in a cage. Hopefully that guy has all oh, this slow, too. This might be a counter. Wait, why are you walking back? I might have picked into a direct counter, to be honest. That slow is just so brutal. I think we just got to do Baron, maybe? Oh, wow, Gwen has an amazing position. Let's do Baron. We gotta do it. If we take this off the map, them getting inhibited did not matter at all. We just gotta get the heck out of here. Holy crap. What I probably should do to match the Yorick is go Swifty Boots, but I kind of just want to stack more. Gotta decide, like, do I want more stacks, or do I want to potentially be able to run down the Yorick, I guess?
Probably shouldn't go for the Ezreal to be honest. This guy's really weak. He's like almost as bad as Fiddle on some level. This freaking cage, man. Guys, okay, Nunzo. Almost got away though, actually. Freaking A. At the end there, I thought he was going to get away. More could be over here doing it as well. Be doing it. Yeah, she is. I knew it. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, we got it. There was the Morgana W on the ground, so I was going to wait that out. But then Lux ulted. I could buy my Shojin right now, but there's two dead. One's dead, though, too. I feel like I should back here. Back after this wave, I guess. We have no pressure on them up. All right, got Shojin. The question is, what next? Do I need armor pen or like death stance? Like death stance for the CDR. And then get Swifty boots, I guess. And get the chain vest as well. Hopefully I can run down that freaking Yorick. What the heck is this Gwen player? Got a two for one, that's definitely worth. Got some stacks off the Lux too. And it buys me time to split. And yeah, the soul gives me 20% movement speed. And I get 50% after I ult. Holy crap. I do wonder if I should have gotten Merc Treads instead of Swifties. Because the enemy has three things that I'm seeing right now that have stuns. And Merc Treads does help against the Yorick slow too. Oh really? I walked into it. Uh, dude, the CC. I, got, I need Mertz, I think. The CC lasted so long there. 18 seconds and I can TP to Baron. The enemy's pushing bottom, but if I TP Baron, we gotta take it off the map. I think it's more important to do that than get in Hib. I can always cover Yorick in a side lane. Yeah, yeah, this is good. Gwen's on board. And this freaking Gwen player allowed this to happen, man. 15 kill Gwen. The enemy didn't even rush in Hib. Thought they would, for sure. Oh no. the Yorick. I'm doing it again. This cage, man. Oh, that's not really that worth, I think. I mean, I got the Yorick, but I didn't really think I'd die for it, to be honest. Although, they get Ezreal, that's... Well, they got in hit, maybe. This could be worth. We're missing all the skill shots, though. That's okay, we got in hit. Wen's in a good position right now. Oh. I think we go for this, to be honest. Oh. I'm caged again. Four hits for this cage. Seriously. Wait, Morgana's dead. We just gotta do it. If they steal it, then so be it. I'm not even mad. What? Did he smite? He got down to like 170. Wait, like they're gonna actually end the game. I'm just in a side lane split pushing. I wasn't really in a position to get over there in time, I think. Although, I mean, Gwen got over there. Yeah, Fiddle gets penalized after the game. I checked his profile and he's not played since that game, which was two days ago. And it is a bit hypocritical for me to report him. I'm always saying the report feature should not exist unless someone's legitimately cheating. In an ideal world, as soon as the Fiddle starts feeding, I can just leave the game and play another one so that I can learn more matchups because my goal is to actually improve at the game and be the best. Making some clickbait video on YouTube is not my main priority. And at the start of the game, as soon as Fiddle started feeding, I did say that I was going to AFK, but no one else on my team was on board so I felt like I was going to get reported too and potentially banned, which is the only reason I did end up playing this game out. If any of my teammates wanted to bow out at any time, there would have been no hard feelings, and I really have no hard feelings towards the fiddle. I just wish there was a feature where I could say that I don't want to match with the fiddle anymore because we just have fundamental disagreements as to how the game should be played. But especially at this like mid-plat MMR, I'm probably never going to see him again anyways, unless I queued up immediately after that game, which I did not do. 